welcome back to my channel and and if you're new to my channel please welcome and if you haven't subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button and notification bell and i do upload videos every saturday and for now um so please watch out every saturday and today as you can see here this is really pretty so it doesn't fit everything but uh, this is a top that i made and this one is just like two two panels and they are the same length and in the back panel as you can see is just a square it's just a square and you just have to work uh your length okay so check your measurement and uh work on the length and then for the front is we need to make <clears throat> some shaping so <clears throat> sorry my throat is um yeah it's very annoying um i'll be right back okay so i am back sorry about that i just had some water and now i have um a strip cells. okay so as i'm saying before this is two length two no two panels with the same length okay so the back is just normal square <clears throat> and then the front is you have to make your opening okay so we need to make an adjustment okay so you have to make uh one one full like a rectangle and then in both sides you will leave a length okay and we are going to work on the other side on the right side and the left side for our opening okay but if you don't want that you can just create the same length and you just have to attach um you just have to create an opening for your head and you have to connect both sides okay so with this one we have um <clears throat> we have an opening okay and we have a design into our front so this gives you a nice um space okay for your front okay so i'm going to show you that guys on the mannequin once this video is finished okay so i am not going to as you can see here i am going to show you how to make these stitches so as you can see and i'm going to work that with you and after that i'm going to show you okay um i'm going to do a small panel and after that because it's just a repetition of this so i'm going to do that with you and then after that we will connect it together okay so without further ado guys grab your yarn and your hook and let's start the video okay guys so i have my four millimeter hook in here and this one is a four ply cotton yarn with mix okay so this is like a cotton this is really really nice but you can see it's a blend and it's really uh it's not stretchy but it's really really nice because there is like a mix of white and i really like it 
okay so as this is for like a measurement of your size okay so now i'm just going to show with you okay so how this pattern works so as we can see here where is my bottom okay so as you can see here we have this double crochet double crochet row and then double crochet chain one skip one row and we did that three times and then double crochet row okay so if you're making your project okay so you can start you can start how many okay um chain do you want okay it depends on your it depends on your measurement okay and then just work from that okay so to start with is of course we're going to create our slip knot And we're going to do chains. Okay, so chain is yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through, and just continue doing that until you have your measurement. As this one is just for a demonstration. Okay, so I'm not going to go too much with you. okay so i think this one is decent enough okay to work and show you guys the the stitching okay so once we have our chain now we're going to skip three chains so one two three and into the fourth but i would like to work into the back okay so one two three the back loop which is you can see here the back bump you just turn it around and you can see this bump into the back so i'm going to insert and you're going to pull through two and you're going to pull through two and we're going to work our double crochet every stitch because our first row is double crochet row so our double crochet hopefully everyone's watching is you know uh, not a very like beginners that you need to learn how to do stitches okay so if you do uh i suggest that you have to practice first and come back to this video okay so but if you're a fast learner that's okay so just yarn over insert into the stitch pull up a yarn and three loops yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two so that is our double crochet pull through two and pull through two okay so i'm just going to continue this doing our double crochet row so this project is you need to work um, a multiple of two because we have um, double crochet chain one and then double crochet so we have that chain one space so you need to work multiple of two plus one okay so continue 
So this pattern is very, very easy. And this is very fast as well. So when you're using a different yarn, just ensure that you're using the, the hook recommended for your yarn. You can use um, whatever yarn you choose. Okay, you just have to check your measurement. And if your yarn is like uh, stretchy, it might shrink. So just be mindful with that when you're doing that. Don't make it too big or it might, you know, uh, too big for you or don't make it too tight because it might shrink as well. So, but if it is stretchy, it is more of, you know, it will be like too big. But if you're working like mine, okay, you need to get your measurement right. Otherwise, it's not going to fit because it doesn't stretch. So you better do a little bit loose. Okay, so now we are finished. So I'm just going to check if we do have a uh, correct amount. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10... 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 31. Okay, so, so multiple of two, so you need to work on odd number. Okay, so after that, going to chain four. And turn your work, and this one is chain three, count as double crochet, and plus one is our chain space. Now we're going to skip this second or the first. So, this one here is we have our double crochet, and we're going to skip this the second double crochet. From the previous row we're going to skip that and we're going to work into the next one for our double crochet so now you have that space chain one and we're going to skip one chain and work into the next one chain one skip one into the next with our double crochet, chain one, skip one, and work a double crochet. Okay, so this is how our work looking at the moment. So we're creating a mesh, a mesh pattern. So this is how it looks like. So chain one, skip one don't forget to skip one okay or else your pattern will be different chain one skip one chain one skip one and just continue so as i don't have much so i'm just going to continue these guys and so you know but if you do have uh you're making your your project and you have more 
chains okay you have to pause the video and finish your project your row and come back when you're ready okay and then chain one okay so this one is our stitch there so we have we count one two and we're going to insert into the third and now that finishes our second row and in the third row it's the same chain four and turn your work and we will be doing the same as what we did in the previous row however this one here is we are going to work on top of this double crochet so we know we're skipping because this space here is there is a chain one that we did okay so here don't forget to chain one and then just work on top of the double crochet from from the previous row chain one and double crochet on top of double crochet chain one double crochet chain one and double crochet okay so now we have our second row of mesh okay so we are going to create three rows of this okay so this is first second and we still have to finish our second row and we're going to do the third row as well so just continue Just don't forget to chain one. And once you finish your row, please check. <clears throat> okay, that you have a chain one space in every every chain one space. Otherwise, you, you will be like in the middle of your row and next row and you will you have to come back so working on every project that you do is you have to really check so this one here we have to count one to the third one is we're going to do our double crochet and we have this chain one space there to our chain there is that's create our space as well okay the third row uh we are going to the fourth row which is the third row of our mesh pattern so one two three four turn your work and <clears throat> on top of this double crochet placing double crochet chain one double crochet on top of double crochet chain one and we're just going to continue doing this okay so continue doing that guys and once you complete i will come back and i'll meet you back chain one and we're going to count one to the third and placing our double crochet to complete our row four which is row three 
of our mesh pattern okay so as i mentioned before we're going to create this mesh pattern three times or three rows and then after that we're going to complete this double crochet row okay so with our double crochet we're going to chain three turn your work and into this chain space we're going to place and we're going to do our double crochet and in on top of this double crochet placing one double crochet into the chain space chain one space one double crochet and this our this is how it looks like so we just copy row one we just did our row one this is our repeat okay so now we are row one two three four row one two three four okay so this is our pattern <clears throat> so in this row five okay so we have one two three four row five is we don't have space or we don't have chain okay just double crochet the same as what we did on our first row we did double crochet in every stitch but because we have a chain one space you can go into that stitch but it's just like hard so it's just better to go as long as your uh, placing one double crochet and that covers us all we need to have the same stitches when we finish the row five okay because if you miss something and then row six seven and eight okay it will be a different story okay so getting closer to the end of the row as you can see okay so this is our pattern repeat so as advice every row once you finish please do check before continuing into the next row okay so at the moment okay we got into the end okay so this end here is we have a chain space there so we're going to insert and place one double crochet and we count one two into the third here that is our last stitch okay so now the next row is a repeat of row two three and four okay so we're going to bring this up over here this one is a repeat of row one so this one is the five six seven eight five six seven eight okay so let's start chain four so chain three is double crochet and then chain one is our chain one space okay then we're going to skip this double crochet next double crochet and we're going to double crochet on the next one okay and make sure that your <coughs> placing your double crochet in line 
with the previous double crochet. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet. Okay, so make sure that you're placing your double crochet in line with the previous double crochet. Okay, so you have a line. You're not going everywhere. Chain one, skip one. As long as you follow your pattern, okay, you can't go wrong. But I know because I've done that as well. Sometimes you're not paying attention on what you're doing and you get confused from double crochet row and chain one spaces. So sometimes you just double crochet and then you didn't chain one space that you're supposed to and you just double crochet and of course it's not going to work. Okay, so you need to undo your job and start over again. But if you're checking, okay, and it's good. Because in that row, if you made a mistake, and then you can just like undo that rather than going into the next and you're almost to the uh, end of your row of the next row on uh, and you have to go back okay so now i'm just checking if everything's in line okay so all good and here as well we have all chain one spaces so we can continue So with myself because you know like i'm talking and then sometimes it's just you know i can't concentrate but we'll be okay and chain one and this is our last so we have two there and we're going to one to the third stitch we're going to place our last double crochet so as you can see at the moment this is how it looks like everything's aligned so we are good to go and continue our next row so next row is chain four turn your work and we're going to copy row three which is the same as this one yarn over and Place a double crochet on top of your double crochet from the previous row. Chain one. Double crochet on top of the double crochet. Chain one. And double crochet on top of double crochet. Okay, so this is the repeat of our project. Okay, so you're just going to repeat one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Okay, so bring this into the top and then bring this on the top and bring this on the top. So now, as you are done with this, okay, so if you're confused, okay, go back. And repeat row one row two row three and four and this one here is row one row two row three and the row four okay so this is our repeat I'm now I'm going to show you in a bigger piece okay what we have done okay so as you can see here this is how it looks like Okay, so as you can see, maybe I should turn around. And so we're facing or we're looking at the right side. Okay, so as you can see here, so we have um, double crochet row, double crochet row, the 
chain one spaces and we have one two three and double crochet row which is row one and we have one two three which is our chain one and skip one okay so this is our mesh rows and this is our solid rows which is double crochet and this is our open space row okay as you can see one two three four and we go back into one two three four and we go back one two three four so this is our pattern okay so once you have you created your pattern now we are going to i will give you the measurement guys so you know if you want to do what i'm doing okay this measurement is for size m okay so i will try this way okay so as you can see my desk is kind of a mess but that's okay okay so i'll just try to move around so you can see my full panel that it's not really fitting but anyway so i'm going to give you a measurement of this so the size is <clears throat> around 44 centimeter okay so this one is just like it's not stretched okay if we're going to stretch it and then it is more bigger okay so this one is just like flat and the measurement from the top to bottom okay so the length is 40 centimeter so 40 and here i said it's 44 and from the front okay so the front that that is the length of our back okay so now I'm going to show you i'm going to give you the measurement of our front which where we did the opening okay so that is uh 30 30 centimeter which is 30 and then now here is we have 10 10 for the opening <clears throat> okay so you can make this higher you can make this uh lower okay so it depends it depends on you and now okay so i have done i have done this i'm just going to count with you guys if how much but this is just how it looks like okay so let me grab this and take it out and because i already connect my one side so this is how it looks like on the other side okay so this is how i stop okay so from here on the bottom and going up and i stop into our double crochet row so just to give that a nice edging in the front so um i recommend doing this so stopping on the second oh no on the double crochet row okay so to give you that nice edging so we don't have to do anything after that and then from here i have 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. Okay, so I have 23 double crochet and I put my marker and I did my double crochet chain one uh, chain one skip one double crochet until uh, to this end here and when I got to the last one okay so I did the two together so I did these two stitches together to to end and then I completed my row so here is I do have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve these two here is I did two double crochet together okay so if you're wondering if how did I do that okay now I'm going to show you okay so I will continue this and I'm going to stop into the second or the double crochet row and I'll come back and I'm going to show you how did I do that okay so for example okay this is your front panel which is now we need two stitch marker okay and we are going to divide them okay so in here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so for example we are going to create that 10 okay this is just for example okay so it depends on you so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and now okay so this is our opening for our neck okay so this is the neck opening so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 in here we have 10 and we have 10 okay so now this is how you do your shoulder so this is our shoulder and this is our shoulder and this is our neck we're going to chain four and turn your work and we're going to skip one and double crochet into the next chain one skip one and double crochet into the next chain one skip one double crochet into the next chain one skip one and double crochet into the next okay so now we only have one okay so we only have one so if that's the case okay what i did here is two together so i'm just going to show you that okay that if you're going to follow what i did okay doing a double crochet two together is we're going to yarn over insert into this stitch and into this stitch the next stitch and we have that and we're going to yarn over and pull through three and pull through two so that is how you do a two double crochet together or that is our decrease or you can do this way as well okay so yarn over insert and pull up a loop okay and stop 
yarn over insert into the next one and pull up a loop and yarn over pull through two and then stop and then you have three loops and then yarn over pull through all three so this is one way as well but because we're decreasing i want to go this way okay so you can do this way as well okay yarn over and then do that way and now you know pull through four you're going to go straight four now or you can do four and pull through okay so this is how we do our two double crochet together and then after that chain four okay so one two three four and into this space here or into the next is you're going to do that and you are going to continue completing your third row of mesh And this becomes our shoulder chain four and turn your work and now that gives you the shoulder double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one and one to the thirds the third chain we're going to complete our double crochet okay so this one here is as you can see this is just like giving you a nice curve okay and you continue going that way and then as we completed our third row of mesh we're going to chain three turn our work and we're going to continue doing our double crochet row so double crochet row doesn't have a chain so just placing one double crochet in every stitch until you get to your last stitch of the row so one to the third okay so now that completes so it depends to you if you know you want one row or two rows so uh, after this is we're going to start from here again and complete three rows so with myself okay i have done two rows of this and then from here you're just going to complete that as well okay you copy what we did here and doing in the other side and now i'm going to show you our big panel okay and i'm going to show you guys how to connect okay so this back panel is you have um the back panel is just a square and the front is you have that design that you just have to go with okay so now we are going to flip this And we're going to work okay so you're going to work on the wrong side of your panel and now once you completed 
okay so i have yarns like everywhere and now once you complete as you can see here i have two repeat and i ended with the double crochet okay so now i finish with my double crochet row and this is my last stitch here just going to complete that and now we are ready to attach okay so just make sure that you're working uh your outside or your inside sorry your right side is facing to each other, okay? And your wrong side is facing out, okay? So now, what we're going to do here is just connecting. So I'm going to insert into this first stitch there. And I'm just going to insert and i'm going to go back and insert into the other side as well okay so just to give you that uh secure okay and then i'm just going to do a slip stitch for this one okay insert into the next and into the other side and slip stitch okay you can do you can do a single crochet as well okay so with a single crochet so it depends if what uh, you prefer okay so with a single crochet is you're going to insert and insert in both sides and both loops and pick up or pull out the yarn and then single crochet and go into the next one and the next and single crochet and the next and the next and do a single crochet so this is how you close your project okay so with that it, this is how it is going to look okay so you just have to continue that but if you're if you prefer just make sure that you're working into the same stitch okay so if you if you prefer you know to do a slip stitch uh you do this way but if you prefer a single crochet and then you do a single crochet so single crochet is just the same okay and just doing a single crochet there so either way you mix it up it is okay you do slip stitch it's okay okay it doesn't it's not visible anyway so it doesn't matter okay so I just continue doing that okay so as i said before okay you do the slip stitch okay with the slip stitch is more um how can i say it is more uh lighter okay with the the single crochet it's more thicker and you just have to continue that until you get to the end okay but either way it works so you do a slip stitch or you do a single crochet as long as you're doing it in every chain okay first panel here and the next panel there and you continue and just connecting both and I'm picking up both loops as well. 
because this is our shoulder part so you want that to be um, to not undone okay so now we are into our last stitch here you need to be this you need to be um stable one okay and then after that you're going to and you just have to as i mentioned see this is because this one is thick but we did our slip stitch here and it's much much um not bulky but if you do the single crochet it's a little bit bulky here but either way as long as it's connected and after that you just have to um hide this tail and just come back and come back a few times until it's hidden okay so if you're going to look in this side this is how it looks like okay so once you pulled it a little bit and then it will it will give you that look okay so that is how our um shoulder okay and you have to do the other side as well it's the same thing and now we're going to move on to our body part which is the side and here is we need to grab a new yarn and what i've done here for my opening is i did one two three four five okay so i close this so i have one two three four and i close it into the fifth so one two one two three four and into the fifth here i'm going to grab my stitch marker and one two three four into the fifth is we're going to close it into the bottom of our double crochet and into the other side so the that is where we're going to stop okay so now we're going to attach okay our yarn and grab a uh, grab your yarn And you're going to create a slip knot and now from here we're going to insert it into the first chain here I'm just grabbing both and into the other side as well so we're grabbing this and we're going to yarn over and slip stitch and because this is the bottom part so what i want to do is chain one and we're going to come back into the same stitch and do a single crochet just to stabilize that and then chain two Oh, sorry chain three because this is our double crochet and into this on top of our double crochet you grab the other side and you grab the other side so just have a look that is the top of your double crochet and 
just insert your hook and do a single crochet chain three and this space here so we have our double crochet row here so this on top of it okay insert there and this is our mesh and our double crochet is the top of it grab that and single crochet chain three and the next mesh or the next row is we're going to go on top here and in the other side and to the top of double crochet and single crochet chain three and we're just going to continue this okay insert in here and insert into the other side okay just make sure that you're inserting it into the same space okay and and this one is we're working into the second uh the double crochet row okay so on top of the double crochet row single crochet chain three and mesh row and we're going to do mesh row on top single crochet chain three on top of the mesh as well and mesh as well on the other side and double crochet chain three and this one is the bottom of our double crochet row chain three and this one is the top okay so just make sure that you're grabbing the right spot chain three okay so you just have to continue doing this until you get to your stitch marker chain three and then you will be doing the same into the other side as well okay and when you got to this end and you have to single crochet twice okay guys so now we are done and we're going to flip this and this is how it looks like so you can add your um shoulder your shoulder okay uh, the opening of your shoulder um not shoulder but your arm the opening of your arm you can do that or you can just like leave it like that okay so the back is you just have to make sure that you end on double crochet row the same as the front so we don't have to do anything okay so now i'm going to put this into my mannequin and i'm going to show you guys how it looks like okay guys so this is how it looks like into our mannequin without just just like that without anything okay so then i'm going to show you another way okay you can use this you can um so let me show you guys but this is how it looks like just wearing just like that okay guys so this is how it looks like if you're going to wear it like a vest and it looks really really cute okay so this is the second style and then you can do and you can try it on whatever so with the green or uh, with the orange one okay so it's uh it looks awesome on white and i have a green here so i will try that as well and see how it looks like 